guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here bringing you the second episode of my Leicester City beer manager career mode and we take on Chelsea now. The first fixture wasn't hard enough as we faced Everton. We've now got to face one of the toughest teams in not only England but Europe as well. A couple of changes made to the squad then before we face this dynamite Chelsea side who got off to a flight of a 3-0 win as well. Now we struggled to beat Everton. It was a very tight game. We were able to get that lucky penalty. Cambiasso netted it to bring us home the 1-0 victory but now we face as we say a much harder challenge. First port of call cool then is to bring the wing backers so they're just regular right and left backs. There's nothing worse than playing a big four team with your defence exposed to just two centre backs when you're on the attack. Because yes, attacking against Chelsea would be good, but I'd much rather play a counter attack style of football where I know that we can just draw the ball forward, maybe have one, two, maybe even three players in the box, the rest waiting for that dangerous starting level to come through. So here we go. There's the goal scorer from last time. Here's how Chelsea line up. It's Schwarz that starts in goal. The ex Middlesbrough star, which could really be a glimmer of hope for us. You look at the other players in the starting 11, there's no Courtois, as we say, no Remy, no John Terry, no Matic, no Willian. It is a slightly weakened Chelsea, but with Cesc Fabregas making his debut, he'll be looking to get his first goal for the club on his first game of the season. A few changes for Derby, as you can see. Ali still gets to start on the left hand side of the wing, and we play a much tighter back four than we did previously. The midfield's still a bit weak. That may need adjusting in the future, but we'll see what we can do against a team as dangerous as Chelsea. So from the kickoff, the start ever so important. Leonardo and Joe are still searching for his first goal after numerous chances against the slightly dampened Everton side. They go into week two hoping for their first points of the season. Chelsea, though, looking to retain their unbeaten run. Fabregas does very well to keep the ball in bounds. Flings it into Diego Costa. The defence able to see off the danger for now. For how much longer remains to be seen. Jamie Vardy on the attack. Finds Marco Brighton on the wing all alone. Can he make anything of it? No, it's going to be a big tackle by the Chelsea left-back. And one that can certainly save them. A free kick five minutes in from Eden Hazard. Drilled in again towards Costa. Mohamed Salah picks it up. Back to Cahill. And a big shot there by Mohamed Salah. Nothing that Kasper Schmeichel couldn't contain, although he did look like he leapt across the goal very nervously. It's a very, very different Kasper Schmeichel compared to what we saw in week one. He looks nowhere near as confident, and you can see why a massive opportunity there for Chelsea. And they were coming in flurries. We could barely get the ball, let alone get on a counter-attack. And we're very lucky that that came to an end there. Ramirez loses the possession of the football. It's Jamie Vardy that finds Ale down. And look how much space there is. This is where this formation comes into its own. Ale does see off the Zuma challenge. And plays it back to ex-West Ham star Paul Koncheski. Ball into the box for a lower. Unfortunately, not tall enough to just get on the end of it and make a monster header. Now, Markle Brighton charging down the left hand wing, being challenged there by Felipe Louis. Brings him down in a risky challenge. Will Brighton obviously through there as well? Now, will there be a punishment for that from the referee? We'll soon find out. It's a yellow card for Felipe Louis. So, not perhaps what Chelsea wanted this early on. 35 minutes. You've still got to play an entire second half with the main star having to be a little bit more cautious now when he goes in for the challenge. Especially two-footed ones like that. So Marco Brighton goes across the ball in. Not many players in the box. The lowers there. But Mark Schwarzer deals with the danger. And for the first time today, actually looks slightly under pressure. Something that Leicester haven't really been able to muster up in the opening 39 minutes of the game. And a big challenge there from Simpson. Sees the ball out for a throw-in, or so he thinks. The referee runs over, seeing something he's not happy with. And a very big warning there from the referee. The debutant not too happy with that one. Replaces the right back who started last week and obviously vying for a spot in the first team will be looking for much more than this. And Leicester vying for much more possession. 36% is not what they want going into the end of the first half. Again, they clear the danger. Again, Chelsea still retain possession. Mikel finds some space, goes for a shot. And that one's only finding the fans in the grandstands. But how much longer is that scenario going to remain the same? Jamie Vardy finds some space. Down to Ajoa. Ali now down the sideline being chased by two defenders. The five for eight wingers pace coming into key here. Drills the ball in and probably drills it in towards the corner flag. That was not the best of crosses and that could have been something special for Leicester. And unfortunately just a lack of concentration or a lack of composure meant that the ball was very, very cleanly seen away by the Chelsea defence once again. As was that cross. And now Costa retains possession of the ball. The latest signing already scored for Chelsea in their first game of the season. Looks to get another one. A nice three ball down there to Jamie Vardy. The volley blocked by Ramirez. 
And the Chelsea defence hanging in strong, making this look absolutely simple. As we go into the second half, the team talks would have definitely been quite passionate from the Leicester manager. They want to see their team move the ball down the field a lot quicker, a lot more concise, and obviously a lot more accurate. And a big strike there is Ramirez that gets the goal. And a big goal for Chelsea. They break the deadlock. And that will seem like a massive weight off of their shoulders. Knowing that they came into this game fully expecting three points. Unable to break the deadlock before half-time. They finally get it through a great ball by Costa Ramirez with the stunning finish. That's his first goal this season. They'll be hoping to further expand on that as the match wears on. And now the goal scorer with possession again. Trying to make something of it. 76 minutes gone. Matic back to the new signing of Fabregas. Matic into a dangerous position. Back to Sesk. And even Kasper Schmeichel's most athletic of jumps wouldn't have stopped that one. Should Fabregas have got it on target. And now 81 minutes gone. Leicester maybe with a chance here. A poor through ball. Ujoa's strength shining through as he wins the header. Down to James. Loses the control of the football unfortunately. And now all out attack called by the manager. So we're desperately trying to find a point. Could it be done? Or are Chelsea just too strong for us? A very risky 3-5-2 formation. It's proven to be dominant here by the Blues. And now Cambiasso with possession trying to boom it forward. Finds Ojoa. Down to Jamie Vardy. Is there a chance for a break now? Shakes off one tackle. Felipe Lewis already picks up a card today. Doesn't want another one. Markle Brighton. And he's able to shrug off the Felipe Lewis dive. In towards Jamie Vardy. And that one's dealt with by the defence. But for how much longer? All Brighton wins control again. Loses it there to Hazard. Three minutes of added time then here at Stamford Bridge. What can Markle Brighton do? Is there a last chance saloon? Leicester win the throw in. Now is there a chance for all Brighton to capitalise on this? The whole team pouring into the box. It's Jamie Vardy that's found some space. Can he get the shot on? No trouble for Schwartz there. The only real incident he's had to work today. He's mostly been sat there playing Scrabble. He's been that bored. And now the corner comes in from Cambiasso. Again, dealt with by Schwartz. So it's the end of the game. We can take an encouraging 1-0 defeat against Chelsea. And I think we were expecting maybe a little more in the way of conceding there. Chelsea won 3-0 in their opening fixture. And surely a recently promoted and non-strengthened side like Leicester would fall victim to Chelsea's master tactics. But it wasn't to be. And we hold on to just a 1-0 loss. Now we can take that as sheer motivation. Yeah, there's some work to do when it comes to getting the ball forward. But defensively, we were pretty solid all afternoon. Thank you so much for getting me to 50 subscribers, guys. It really does mean the world to me. I hope you enjoy the content. I'll be back with you a little bit later today for some more FIFA Ultimate Team gameplay and maybe some more Madden as well. We face Arsenal next in our career mode. That's coming for you tomorrow.